Dice Paper Roll is recorded on the lands of the Boonarong and Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded, always was and always will be Aboriginal land. We see a unicorn as it gallops through the wilderness. It comes to a lake where it launches itself faster and harder across the water, its hooves never passing through the surface. Mane billowing behind, its golden horn shimmering in the moonlight. It's here that we see distress pass across its eyes. Something is wrong. And then a flash of exquisite light. And in the unicorn's place, a rocking horse with a golden horn bobs and bows on the surface of the water, buoyant. In the ripples made by the rocking horse, we see letters form. Letters that form words. Words that read, Dice, paper, roll into the Fey Wild. Hello and welcome, listener, to episode 18 of Dice Paper Roll Into the Feywild. You are swinging wildly on the rocking horse that is swiftly going nowhere through the swamps of downfall. <laughs> My name is Ben and I play Unit, the Warforged uh, Rune Knight Fighter, protector of Kevin Strangeways and sometimes... Uh, uh, whack-a-mole machine slash ticket inspector slash not very cool transformer greg <laughs> yes i'm the only greg here and i'm playing dolene delacroix who is a harrigan wizard uh she's good at spells and stuff dan <laughs> i'm dan i'm the second greg of the group, <laughs> if you will, Greg, just trying to take your own fucking, like, how fucking rude. Anyways, I'm Dan. I'm playing. Sorry, uh, sorry, Gran. Gran. <laughs> Gran. I'm, I'm Dan. I'm playing Sir Walter Winston Winkle Picker the Third, a bard like human like frog man. Um, and father of Kevin Strangeways, Lauren. Yeah, I'm Lauren. I'm playing Kevin Strangeways. Yeah, you who are. is a little boy in the body of a huge man, a human artificer. And at the moment, he learned a very valuable lesson uh, last time we were all together. And uh, built a small, tiny thing for Dolene. You know how sometimes you are embarrassed, so then you try and use your talent to remind people that you're actually pretty okay. <laughs> and that's what I did. Uh, Jack. That's what this podcast is. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, everyone else introduced themselves in relation to Kevin, so I'd, I'd also like to jump on that train. Dolene, uh, Dolene Delacroix, um, a, once acquaintance of Kevin, now friend, because material things catch my heart. <laughs> I recognise your love language is gifts. It, it is. <laughs> Uh, especially uh, delicate, expensive trinkets. So mm. you really nailed the brief. Yeah, that's right. That's right. This whole thing revolves around me, Kevin Strangeface. <laughs> I am the main character. I am the only Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and my name is Greg, and I'll be the dungeon master today. <laughs> um, I'll be... Too many Gregs on the dance floor. <laughs> Too, Too many Gregs. Many Gregs. <laughs> Just enough Gregs. 
<laughs> <laughs> the right amount. Just the right amount of Greg's. <laughs> Greg. Greg. <laughs> Four Greg's is the appropriate number <laughs> <of> Greg's. <laughs> Greg. Greg. <laughs> um I will be uh in relation to Kevin. Oh, I am actually Jack. Uh in relation go. to Kevin, I am um, um I guess um his creator? Yeah, overlord. Overlord? Yeah, omnipotent. Omnipotent. No, um, well, oh, I can't use I mean, that word om- correctly. <laughs> my, you're, you're... Inner, my inner thought, my yeah. shoulder angel. <laughs> Let's call me. I'm more. I'm less omnipotent and more impotent. Um, <laughs> sort of. What does that oh, just mean? Like I'm me. a little boy. <laughs> oh. Kevin's impotent sky daddy. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Um, <laughs> barely in control. And sw- swinging their words around. Fuck, mm. I don't know. Um, Smooth. Thanks. Do you want me to DM? <clears throat> I can. <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> you know what, Kevin? I would love that. Go on. <laughs> uh, I rolled a one. Critical fail. Your turn. <laughs> I'm very good. Very good. My creation has... Exceeded me. <laughs> Stop swinging your flaccid Greg with around and get on with it. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. all right, all right. Your Previously. exceeded you with a one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Jack, we really Impotent. need to work on Impotent. your fucking self-confidence, no. bro. Yeah. What, what, he's doing actually great, doing, what he's actually doing is trying to lower expectations so that anything he does do is considered actually to be quite amazing. Yeah, they're like, I oh, see what that you're was, doing, Jack. That was actually mm. pretty. I mean, Greg. Surprisingly Sorry. good. It's a classic Greg move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Dice Paper Roll into the Feywild, the party, Dolene Delacroix, a hare, Walter Winston Winklepicker the third, a frogman, Hello. Kevin Strangeways, a man-sized boy, and Unit, a robot ticket machine or whack-a-mole machine, were confronted by the consequences of Dolene's pickle snack. As Dolene ruled the soggy court, she began to transform and turn green, pickily even. Dolene was confronted by Bavlorna, who had misplaced a book and requested the party come visit her in her cottage at the centre of downfall. With a heartwarming gift, Dolene was returned to normal, her hairy self. And so the party... uh, are left wondering how they are going to get into uh, Bavlorma, Bav, 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 Bavlorna's. Bavlorna's. <laughs> Thank you. Bavlorna's cottage. Um, Should yeah. we just refer to her as Greg for ease of reference? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think that will really help listeners at home if we refer to uh, her as Greg. It will really help Greg's ego as well. <laughs> <laughs> it needs just, help. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck, Greg, shut up. Mm. Yeah. So we're all in the soggy court right now, right? Yeah, well, you're all in the sog- soggy court and the over the last... The place, yeah? Yeah, over the yeah. last little bit, I think you've all sort of been figuring out, trying to figure out how you're going to get in. Uh, so using Dolene's influence, uh, you've um, sent out a few... Bullywogs, the frog-like people, uh, to investigate the cottage. Um, yes, and there isn't a rogue among us. We need someone to find those traps. That's right. Hmm. Unfortunately, they are still the same bullywogs that you knew from before <laughs> and not particularly the most competent of folks. So it's up to you whether or not you trust their information. Right. Uh-huh. Right. My Bullywog Legion, thank you for returning from your expedition. What information do you have to tell the Queen Delacroix? <laughs> um, so Kevin Strangeways has actually set up a war room in the Soggy Court, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, which is just uh, that he's built um, out of, uh, it's, it's basically like a blanket fort. Um but yeah, sort of nice. made out of like the vines and kind of like the bedding that of of the of the of the palace, I assume, in the court. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Units so been enlisted. Maps and, sorry, 
No, no, you go. There's there's maps and things. There's a big uh, there's a big table uh, in front of it with uh, all, like little bullywog um, miniatures that <laughs> he's just been pushing around, um, sort of coordinating the kind of reconnaissance spy effort. You know, Kevin, you- this would be a lot more like this. Is, I think yes. you know, I've not actually been in a lot of war rooms, but this I think this is about as comfortable as a war room could get. Um, yeah. No, do you want I, a dolly? Like, I do. Of course, thank Holds you. Holds a little stuffed rabbit. Oh, my God. Unit's been tasked with providing snacks to the war room, the cubby uh-huh. house war room, and um, as much as they don't love being in a role of servitude, um, they understand that this is the role that they must fulfil uh, at this particular moment in time. So they are whipping up some pretty darn tasty snacks, the tastiest morsels you will find in the swamp. Um there's there's chocolate bugs and uh, honeyed worms and all kinds of things. Yum yum. Producing in bowls and the soul moles are coming out with like little chef hats on going, yeah, here you go. Uh, enjoy. Oh, your thank you very much, unit. It seems like you're quite adept at being a servant. <laughs> Unit says nothing. <laughs> oh, it's it's good to see that your uh, Bavlorna neck juice has worn off already. So Walter uh, Winston Wicklepicker the third. I, I have um, some orange uh, orange slices, uh, a little bit of uh, Macca's uh, post mix coke, and I'm right as rain. I send and, an internal message to the soul moles to um, you know don't worry about it if you feel like spitting in Sir Walter Winston Wicklepicker's snacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's tangy. Mm. Oh, these. Sir Walter, um, what 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 is the latest report from the from the field? Yes, well, wanna... uh, Walter holds like the those like little kind of I want to call it a rake, but it's like a little stick with yeah. like a flat piece of wood yeah. on the front where he's pushing the like miniature bullywog um, pieces around with, yeah. and um. Yes, well, we've just had a new report that has come in from uh, the Bullywogs. Uh, buttons, <laughs> buttons, bully boop. Um, yes. What say buttons you? Bully nice. boop, reporting buttons, for duty. Bully boop. Uh, what, what say you? I didn't roll high enough to find anything, so uh, oh, okay, maybe good. move on to the next guy. Anyways, so we've looked at the map, and and so it turns out that uh, Bavlo, Bavlova's uh, house is literally two blocks away. Yes. Um, she's been in the mm-hmm. town the entire fucking time, apparently, yes. although none uh-huh. of these bullywogs can really figure it out. But uh, so she's just uh, up Main Street, and then, like, you... Don't go the first left, but if you take the second left, that's second left. You follow okay. that up, and then that's where her lair lies. Do you know? I think I think she might have been easier to find. I mean, like it, this this table's really good, um, but can we can we stop using real frogs uh, <laughs> to mark the bullet because they keep moving around? Yes, I, I did try to tell you that. <sighs> Uh, Thanks, unit. No. You know, people would respect you a lot more if you didn't. I told you so all the time. I'm just okay. Well, that's fine. Dolin, you... we need to use the cultures. You know, the the practices of the cultures that we have taken over. You know, I'm just saying, you need to keep up uh, the traditions. Yeah, I should, you're right. Um, they do usually. Um, kill the little frogs before they use them as miniatures. Um, they do eat them after every session. I'll give you that. Um, very I thought, tasty. I thought it was weird too. <laughs> Does that count as cannibalism? For me? I was a human, so I, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to mull this over for a little while. Um, Kevin's still really valiantly trying to get the frogs to stay on the table. No, you get there. You go there. You are stationed outside of uh, Bavlona's hut, and uh, you are there. You're all having a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, uh, is there another report? Who's next? 
Yes, reporting for duty, uh, Uff Gunk Pound Flower Night. <laughs> Uff Gunk Powder Flower Night. Really, that well that's what that does you. not sound like an auto generated uh, uh, name at all. I've heard of your heroics amongst the bullywogs, and you are an esteemed general. I have been involved in three coups thus far. All of them successful. Do you the have any information? The Pound Flower Knight family has a long history of coup supporting. That's right. Uh, we go way back. We go way, 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 way back. Um, Jolly good show. Yes. Uh, well, as you know, uh, I went on a reconnaissance mission and I looked around and I saw. Uh, what did you see? I saw that there are four. Uh, clotheslines that go up to uh, Bavlona's cottage. Now you'll Four find that the um, you'll find that the the fog around here, not the frog. You said that last time. The fog uh, uh, goes out to like twenty feet. Now that's like nine meters, I okay, think. Good uh, around here, but uh, Bavlona's house is on stilts, and it's above that. That line, and that's why you couldn't see. Uh, uh, it's it's in the fog above the town, and there's there's wow. these great big lines going up there, um, and you could climb along them, or there is. It's said that there's a trapdoor in, in the bottom floor that you can climb up to uh, via a staircase that goes around a little well at the bottom of it, and uh, that. Has no railings, so it's a little bit dangerous and slippery. Uh, not very accessible. No, <laughs> no, it is not. That's surely that's in violation of some kind of code, Dolene. Ah, uh, well, mm. I, I did implement a quite a lengthy uh, workplace <laughs> health and safety code. Um, Can we get her on that? Week. Do you think? Could we yeah, like think- arrest her? Oh my God! Yeah, this will really turn the people against her. Her poor safety practices in the workplace. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> you're you you're my best that- point of reference, Walter. Do you think the frog people would be upset by workplace hazards as I am? Well, I must say, I mean, they've it's a, it's a frog people. I mean, their their vertical leap is you know, is significant. Um, I don't know if it would be enough to justify them doing an all, all out uh, revolution against, against Bavlova. I mean, there's the other very small matter of the fact that she's been stealing children. Do you think if we told everybody that, then maybe they would be a little bit more against her. Well, I don't know. Do bullywogs really care about children? From, yeah, let's from problem. another dimension. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, Afgunk here. Um, no, yes, we don't. Uh, we no. kill people quite frequently. Shit. It's what we're known for. What? Huh? But yes. they might care. Well, oh, Afgunk, how do you feel about workplace hazards? <laughs> oh, not good. It's Slipper really stairs. not good. I, f- I really think it could be safe around here. <laughs> For some reason, Afgan, mm. I knew that you, that one would get you. I don't know why, but I knew that that, uh, that would get you. Yeah. It's Maybe some- we ask everyone to compile some the entire safety risk assessment of the town and then we blame it all on Bevelorna. That That's is a perfect. good idea. I, I mean, it's possible that that would really work out quite well. Now, there is some other matters. <laughs> yes. Can I um, suggest no, really? something, is there? everyone? Yes. She wanted us to find that big book of bad blood. Mm. Perhaps she's got some incriminating evidence in there, if anyone knows oh, yeah, where that, that is. Book about how much was that something that we all heard? Or was that something? Um. Yes. Dolene, yes. would you have told? I think you told everyone. Yeah, didn't you? yeah, I yeah. Told, uh, yeah. You I did, told yes. Well, and and yeah. she said it in front of everyone, actually. Yeah. yeah. Apologies. Yeah. yeah. I just, well, I just want to make a game, you know. No, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, oh, that's a workplace um, saying we had in the borough: better to be safe than sorry. Um, so that's great practice there. 
Well, yes, I've seen it on all the posters around the city. You've done a very good job of that, uh, Dolene. I well, mean, yeah, Your Majesty. Well, you know, um, frogs can frog people can jump high, and so can um, hair her, herringen, hair people, hair. I mean, I'm mm. having such a conflict of interest because it's my my people say close enough is good enough, and so <laughs> like. I kind of have to see the fact that she's kind of making an attempt, although, like, it's, ah, oh, I'm so conflicted. See, my <laughs> people have a saying, just because you can jump real high doesn't mean at work you should have cause to sigh. That's, I know it's catchy. <laughs> uh, really so catchy. rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it really got there in the <laughs> end, didn't it? That's why it, <laughs> the tongue. it's been so effective. Yes. Um, there is a couple of other matches. We have some other ways that we can get in. There's, um, there is also uh, some reports that um, the post office has had a, a shipment delivered to it that is uh, addressed to, to Bavlona herself. We had a peek inside and it's full of carcasses. Um, um, what type of carcasses? Just animals, mostly. Right. Uh, no children, in case you're wondering. Although yes, I don't know India? about that. It was a big uh, kind of looming question, but yes, there, okay. <laughs> there was a deer in there, actually. Oh, Quite no. squashed. <laughs> yeah. A doe? Mm. A deer? That's right. Was it a female deer? No. It was oh, very okay, much good. not well, a female deer. I said doe. Anyways, yes, continue. Um... There, so uh, you could do something with that. You could deliver that if you wished. Um, and also take the book. Might where be is the book? Get in. Do you know where the book is? Because we don't. Afrank, you've been holding out on the fact that you have the big book of bloody... Bad. Bads. Bad stuff? Bad behavior. <laughs> Bav Warner's book of bad blood. That's oh, yes, I have it right here. And he produces it. It was going to be part of our last coup, but then it got um, finished early, as it were. The well, excellent to hear you're not. Excellent to hear you're not contemplating any any further coups. No, it's been Off great gunk. since we've actually had something to do, which is fantastic. So, can we look in the big book of bloody him there? Yeah, sure. Um, Kevin takes it from you. Um, mm -hmm. and Afgunk, Pun, Pun Flower Knight, and uh, thumps it down onto the table, uh, accidentally squishing a frog. <laughs> 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 ah, I can't escape it. My uh, current, what is it? My cousin what is Jeremy. It? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and opens it up to the first page. It says, I'm sure this couldn't be a cursed tome. I'm sure we're fine. Yeah. I didn't have to do any checks on that, did I? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. I, we're going to be flying off the skin All of right, my teeth fly on off this we go. one. Yeah, I'm going to roll an arcana check on it. Yeah. Uh huh. With a fucking big old five. It, it seems safe to me. <laughs> go ahead, boy. <laughs> Kill. Read away. Y'all, yes. uh, you're sure about that, right? I'm it's sure. Safe. Okay. That's yeah, fine. it's good. It seems yeah. real good. Good. I rolled a 20, but I'm not sure what that means. Um, so you I open it. I don't know it. if there's any kind of curses or anything involved in it. So um, go, read away, Kevin. Uh, and the book itself is um, blank inside. It's, there's nothing in there. Unit um, opens up one of the doors in their torso and brings out a UV light. <laughs> Perhaps this will help reveal some hidden text. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I hold it up Just and I wave it. The, <laughs> the whole, the whole, play. oh my oh god. god. Wow, this really is a book of bloody bad behavior. <laughs> How did those stains get up there? 
Did this <laughs> belong to Jackson Pollock? What? <laughs> it's not just the book, the whole gazebo. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I believe it's because we are in a swamp full of frogs and their spores go off every eight seconds or so. Remember, Darlene? That might explain a lot. I put the oh, UV yeah. light away. <laughs> it seems that I had taken that knowledge, crushed it into a tiny ball and buried it deep within my psyche. <laughs> But, I need to know if this is concealing anything. It says that it's empty, but surely there's a way um, to find but out. But Bavlova, Bavlova wants this book. She wanted us to return it to her, did yeah, she not? Yeah, yeah. She wanted you, Dolene, to bring her the book of bad deeds. She bad, did. The big bad of bloody book of Bavlova's body. I got the feeling bad that booty. it was so she Trump. could add our names to it. Why would we want to do that? Hmm. Maybe I should do some magic stuff. Yeah. Let's yeah. You're much magic better stuff. at it than I am. I should probably do that. I, I sometimes it's been so long um, <laughs> since I killed that last king. Um, I forgot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to detect magic first. Can I detect any auras of magic around the book of bad blood? Yeah, I guess so. It's some. Um... What's it's, the flavor? It's kind of uh, concealing. What's your flavor? <laughs> it's got con- what's your flavor? Concealing magic on it. Romance. It's concealer. I don't know. I don't. Uh, it's the kind All of right. magic. Maybe that she's would born with it. Maybe it's a book of blood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need just. I just need eleven minutes alone with this book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Bavlova's already done that. <laughs> Judging by the UV, <laughs> take the UV light with you. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to cast Identify uh, as a r- ritual. Um, so I can uh, basically over the next 10 minutes, I learn its properties and how to use it and whether it requires attunement. Okay, yeah. Um, Unit brings out more tea and snacks for the 10 minutes it takes. Yeah, there's like a... Wait, there's Light like refreshments. A, there's like a... More honey worms, please. <laughs> Coming right up, Kevin Strangeways. There's a there's a montage as uh, we see Dolene sort of peering over the book and it's like me- getting out the measuring tape and looking over it, mm. flicking through mm. the pages, flipping it over, running a finger across the spine. Everything I do, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, it's and then all a beautiful like, mind with all the like, <laughs> you know, formulas like kind of yeah. Whoosh, some, whoosh, some yeah, some we're bully watching wugs. this. This is it's very meditative actually. <laughs> Some bullywogs roll out like a see-through whiteboard and you're like scrolling like runes all over it. (laughs) Someone get her some red string for God's sakes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I figured out the book. (laughs) You got a cigarette hanging out of your mouth. (laughs) It's, it's actually uh, just a frog. Like, what are the frogs like? Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's. Uh, you're very certain at this point that it's definitely a diary, and it's just uh, all you need to do is give the book a little bit of a tickle on the bottom and tap its top, and whisper to it, "I have some bad things to tell you." Oh my God, Jesus! <laughs> okay, everybody, out of the room while I figure this out. I give you a little tickle on the bottom, little yep. little smack around the head. You like you like it soft, then you like it hard. And that then tickles. I got some, Stop it! I got some bad things to tell y'all. Ooh, tell me. <laughs> and as you see that, uh, as you say that, um, the book's uh, writing just sort of bleeds into place. And the writing uh, doesn't splatter into place. Yeah, it splatters yeah. into into place <laughs> <laughs> through the decades of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Can she only write in it once a month? Is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> it's called the ba- Bavlona's Book of Bad Blood. So, <laughs> uh, what do you um, got, you boys? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can I can make it work, but uh, we got to look after it. We got to make sure it's well fed and and warm. It needs a heat pack and yeah. and loving words and and some anti-inflammatories. Um, yes, 
And also, unrelated, I need to keep my finger in the bottom the whole time if we want to read it. Um, and as you as you look through, it's just like lists and lists of petty quibbles that Bavlorna has with various people er- of every shape and form. Just every single time she has had an annoyance with someone, it is in this book. Is, is there anything beyond names in there? Oh, it's it's names and also what they did. Does it have ages? Of Here, the look. Bubble? It says uh, Ankwart, uh, Bubble Face, Bullywug, didn't remove red onions from my sandwich. Disgraceful. That's that's so petty. Why would someone? <gasps> it's a risk assessment. Ah, I knew it. Damn it, there goes our workplace health and safety <laughs> argument. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Bavlorna is known to be FODMAP. Um, <laughs> no cannot eat onion. onions. <laughs> so do you think anyone else knows about this? Like if we, if we published an anonymous, scandalous uh, article in the local paper, Detailing all of these sordid and petty events that maybe, you know, make her seem like a horrible person. Do you think then maybe everyone will be mad at it? Well, it's no play- workplace assessment, but I think it'll work, uh, Kevin. Um, maybe. Kevin flips the table over and instead of a war room, there's like a typewriter and he puts like a little perky hat on that has like a... <laughs> A, a card in it that says press. And he's like, I need <laughs> photos of Bavlona on my desk by Monday. Unit starts picking up all the honeyed worms and the chocolate spiders that had fallen onto the table when you flipped it round. He's like, oh, forever doing menial tasks. Oh, joy. Sorry, what did you want, Kevin Strangeways? Photos of Bavlona being a bitch. Let's do it. We want bikini pics. But when she, after she's had a burger... And then we want her <laughs> dropping her baby. And Af- Afgunk hearing that actually goes, oh, actually, um, it's funny you say the, the bikini pics because we've had some um, some reports of... Bav- Afgunk, this better end well, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not exactly bikini pics, but um, it, what it is is we have some information about what the place is like on the inside. And um, yes, her house, right? That's right, inside her in inside her house, and um, the, on the first floor there's a pool, and she goes in there to um, to have a little bit of a swim, and um, we believe that she goes in there to rejuvenate her skin, uh, and and inside of the Ooh. the pool there is at the center of it a well and you can par- that well passes through the bottom of the floor into the swamp below which we think is how the pool upstairs maintains its water do we know what time she does this is this a, this is obviously some kind of Daily ritual, what time does she do well, this? I'm just wondering if maybe we could, like, poison the water. What the change th- the water in some kind of manner. We, we, particularly with Dolene as being such a great uh, magician and, uh, you know... Changer of water, perhaps? Changer of water, perhaps? I don't know. Um, well, but she can do magic shit. I and can shape water. I mean, I could take a big cube. shit in there. I could do that as well. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah, but that's... maybe we could, like, change it so that then if it's supposed to rejuvenate her and bring her back uh, some kind of vestiges of youth, maybe we can taint it and it will yeah. make her weaker. I think shitting in her bathwater sounds pretty toxic to me. I think that's a that's a good poisoning decision. I licked her back, and I have some really bad 
like diarrhea right at the moment. <laughs> like, okay. you know, when you've had like a little bit of shit and it's like, boy, you've got that kind of shit. Yeah, I got that at the moment. So, you know, just saying. I'm a vegetarian, so no. Um, uh, I will not be cleaning that up. So, Walter Winston, we will pick the third, just so you know. That's that's cool, unit. I'm talking about pooping in a bath. Jesus. <laughs> I don't need you to clean it up, but thanks for offering. Like, no, I was more talking about mean? the problem you're dealing with right now, but uh, never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, it wasn't a wet one. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Uh, holding it together. It's okay. <laughs> now, um, inside the pool there is actually a mirror, and we're we're not sure what its purpose is, but it there it is there. Um, but you will note, um, Bavlona hasn't used the mirror in quite some time. I mean, sorry, not the mirror, the uh, the pool. We're not quite sure why, so that may need some investigation. Did somebody else shit in it? It's oh. possible. <laughs> I so wouldn't rule it out. Punch. I mean, so that means her skin has not regenerated in quite some time. Mm. I suppose yeah, that she makes might be sense, weak. The way. Oh, she might be weak. Also, and she looks uh, at the mirror. So maybe if we show her the mirror, it's like a kind of thing where then she's, you know, like she sees her reflection, and then she's like, "Ah, I'm so hideous," kind of thing, and then she needs to take a bath. Kind of Amazing, thing. Walter. Maybe like using cutting edge journalism as a reflection of herself back at herself in a public forum. Oh my God. With bikini pics. We could take Julian Assange with us. That's this guy right now. He's giving us all the wiki leaks. <laughs> there's, this, there's this frog person off to the side with like the blonde wig. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm sorry you were in that That's quarter mile business. It's like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just like him. Just to summarize, he sort of clicks, click clacks on to like a, a typewriter. He's like, That's the a different big character. plan is, A, we are going to humiliate and poison and mess around with Bev Lorna. Yes. Uh, then he's sort of like, Next line. We are going to turn everyone in the town against her. Yeah. Yes. Bing. Check. Uh, then we're going to rule the school and save the rec center. Check. <laughs> Any okay. other notes? It just has <laughs> this for an agenda. Right. That's pretty good. Um, okay. No, but you're right. Um, Kevin, what we need to use is we need to use the propaganda. We need to bring, uh, use propaganda to bring the people. Unit on rolls side. in and goes. Is this the right, right one with a big goose in their arms? Is this the right one? So Walter Winston, we could pick the third. <laughs> no, is this unit. The he means, no, no unit. He means have a Honk. like a really good look. At oh, sorry, wrong goose, and I roll out again. Oh arguing God. with my soul moles. That was the wrong one, you guys. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what you fucking talking about, unit, you dumb piece of fucking machinery? <laughs> oh, my God. Even out. your moles hate you. <laughs> Jesus. That's a really scathing <laughs> inner monologue. I, know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even need to do that. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, yes, Kevin, we, we need to bring the people on side with us. You, you, we, we, we need to use the propaganda. We, we need to discredit, make them look like they're the evil one. Well, they are. They I mean, are. she does murder a lot of children. Yeah, and that that was a quite a good point there, Kevin. And there's the yeah. carcasses oh, oh, as on, well. On that point, you can't forget actually, the carcasses. Let's on not the... worry about the fact that the bullywogs have murdered a lot of children as well. That's fine. <laughs> But we could keep on going on. On the point of children and murder, um, I felt it necessary to uh, double check the um, veracity of, of that particular uh, claim because you spoke about it so vociferously before. Um, and we, we found no evidence of children within the premises. 
Hmm. She I'll must have ate them. Well, they wouldn't oh, well, be it's, there. It, it's oh, it is somewhere it's, else. It's possible, but there are three hags within the Fey Wild yeah. and Prismere, and it it's possible that you, this is not the hag responsible for the children munching. I no. very much doubt that. Bav Lorner has weapons of mass destruction <laughs> in her hut. <laughs> And I will, are you with us or are you with Bav Lorna? That's the question you need to ask yourself. This is a real dichotomy here. There's no, it's very black and white. I mean, that's what I was kind of getting at, but it's like the more that it just unfolds, it's just really difficult to just take on at the moment. Uh, But you're either pro Bav Lorna or you're pro us. I'm, I'm, you know what? I think I'm pro you guys. Yeah, I think, I think I'm pro you guys. It's a good choice because Bab Lorna would have locked you up in an open air prison. (laughs) 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 Um, uh, uh. That's topical. What do we do here now? I'm really conflicted at the moment. I think maybe actually, I think, you know what? I'm I'm actually starting to think that let's put these plans aside. What we need to do is we need to open a discourse. We need to, we a need discord. to communicate. All right. With I'll open a discord Bradford. right now. Excellent idea for getting we need more to, readership. I... I I feel like we should go in there and we should talk to her and find out exactly that. If there is no children there and there's been no evidence of it, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we should actually find out who is actually doing this. If there's, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm starting to, I'm starting to doubt myself. I, I'm starting to question whether we're actually on the right lead. Whilst I appreciate and uh, respect this rather noble turn of thought you've had, Sir Walter Winston Wicklepicker III, my good frogman, can you tell me, is Bavlorna a member of the Hourglass Coven? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, if we can find that out, everyone, is what I'm saying, then we know that the Hourglass Coven are the ones that have the deal with Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. How many covens do you think there are in Prismere? Are you asking me or the Frogman? Uh, Frogman. Okay, I good, don't fucking I don't know. know. Jesus, I, I'm not, just no, that not one. you. The, the other one. one. Oh. No, oh, I've never sorry. asked you a question I needed a serious answer to, Walter. Um, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> Afgunk at, at your service. Yeah, Af- um, Afgunk. Uh, no, uh, Afgunk. Um, yeah, Afgunk. Anyway, uh, I... <laughs> do you know, I... I suspect probably she is part of that coven, uh, but I, I do wonder. Um, there was a lot of evidence within the house, and she did mention to you that she rather despises her sisters and is very well known around the uh, around these parts. So I don't know to, to the degree to which she's aware of what her sisters might do or might not do. Hmm. What's with the carcasses, though? Listen, we've heard a lot of arguments for both sides. We've been (laughs) going around this issue a fair bit, but um, I think that we have enough information for a surgical military strike on her premises. Do you think? I do, and as (laughs) Commander-in-Chief... Uh, Kevin Strange always flips the table back over to the war room again. Oh, no, yeah. not the snacks again. I just finished like, putting them all back in the bowl, It comes up Kevin with, like, Strange some ways. 3D models of, like, <laughs> trains with, like, chemical weapons inside them. <laughs> like, all driven by frogs. It's a bunch of Look at this frogs animation now. that's going on here. We put a lot of work into these animations to show you just how evil they are. We spent billions of swamp dollars on building this animation ta- table, and goddamned if I'm not going to use it to now, invade a sovereign territory. There is 
one other thing that I discovered in our little reconnaissance. Afgunk, if you stop holding out on key fucking information, <laughs> I'm about to fucking kill you, okay? This is now the third time that you've bumped in just being like, oh, by the way, I should have mentioned this earlier. You should fucking lead with it, okay? Because, you know, we're in a civilization of bullywogs where we just fucking kill the fucking whoever's the leader. So you're just as indis- you're just as dispensable as the rest of them. And if you don't fucking give all the information right now, I am going to fucking tear <laughs> your goddamn throat out. Continue. Um, it, uh, <laughs> he takes a gr- huge gulp. Um, well, let uh, let me get three out in a row then. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> three out. <laughs> <laughs> You are only three more plot points. Wait, no, four. There's four. I have four. I have four more things to tell you. Okay. (sighs) Bethlorna has a lily pad in her pool that we think does something special. That's the first one. That's not that significant, but I didn't tell you. And I, I, now I have to tell you everything. Okay. That's one. We We think it's magical. Is that two or is, is that, that two? The one? <laughs> no, that's part of the same one. <laughs> okay. Okay. You better be cutting to the fucking chase, boy. Um, uh, Bavlona has a. Uh, most of her prized possessions are in the top floor. There are three stories. And. And this one might be the smoking gun. Bavlona is allergic. To someone running in Widdishins. What? What the fuck is Widdishins? Say that again. Is that what I did this morning? (laughs) No. It's where you run around in circles. Anti-clockwise. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like anaphylaxis allergic or like... like (laughs) I don't feel well. I got a little touch of diarrhea allergic. I'm not quite sure. It's it's just a rumor that's going around her household. Okay. Well, that's three. What's number four? <laughs> There's a balcony. And it has a lot of frogs. <laughs> it has a lot of frogs on it. <laughs> And if they spot you, they will rib it very loud. And that is how we lost dear Splop. What level May he rest is this in balcony peace. on? Pardon? What level is this? What level is this balcony on? The first level. Next I to the you pool. You were going to ask what level Splop was. Who well, he's dead now, a, so it doesn't really matter. Who has a fucking balcony on a first level? Well, it is. It's like ground it's level, on basically. It's on stilts. It's on. It is Remember? on stilts. Oh, so. that's very true. That's very true. Okay, like you just ten saved meters in the air, like you a Queenslander. You saved your know. life, motherfucker. If there's one thing I've noticed about you in my days of travelling with you, Sir Walter Winston Wicklepigger the Third, it's the, it is the unspeakable rage that you experience when <laughs> there are inexplicable occurrences in architecture. <laughs> it just gets me. <laughs> it just gets me. It just doesn't make sense. That nobody else gets pissed off at when there's like, you know, they call it a balcony, but it's on ground level. It's not a fucking balcony. It's a fucking, it's a yard. At high tide, it's a wading pool. And this and one is full of frogs. That okay. rib it really loudly. That's right. And we they suspect that they alert. Uh, they don't croak? I, I don't know. Frogs sound different in different places. I, sorry, yeah, maybe it's a local dialect. You guys are stressing dialect. me out quite a lot. Alert. Okay, Alert. I'm, I'm sorry, Alert. Afrank. Alert. Afrank, you have done an amazing job. Um, thank you, Afrank. Thank you. I just want to say the next time when we ask for a report yeah. from you, 
Yeah. You should give all that information at the beginning, you know, <laughs> just so that then we have all the information. We don't just get one little tidbit and then we start going off on all of the random fucker. You know what I mean? We're just like... I just, we just kind of need all that information in the one go. And if you don't do that, it just go. Uh, I'm not attacking you <laughs> is what I'm getting at. Okay. Unit, I'm not unit produces you. a box of tissues for Afgunk who has clearly started to break down weeping. <coughs> uh, should, should I should I take him out, Her Majesty? Yes, you should take it. Oh, yeah. No, yes. yeah, lead him out of the building. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, thank you for yes. specifying. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, we should. Uh, yeah, I was, th- I was unit, down. <laughs> unit starts to lead Afgunk out of the room, and as Afgunk's back is turned around to us, uh, I pull out like a hand crossbow and look back at you all and like shake my head like a no. Are you sure? No. No, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> I no it, unit. I put it away where Afgunk doesn't see, and I walk out and say, thank you for your information, Afgunk. Okay, Kevin, nobody. I've got a, I got another story for your, your paper. Um, hey, so okay. Like and we're he just focusing. It back over to the, uh, to the typewriter. <laughs> I've got it. I've got it. It's a big banner headline. Are you ready? Yes, I'm Afgunk. ready. Afgunk. Afgunk. M- mission accomplished. Is that with two Ks? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mission accomplished. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Accomplished it, with two Ks as well. It'll look good. You know, <laughs> adds extra weight with the mm. extra K. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But we're really throwing him under Ks. the proverbial bus, aren't we? No, we're He's celebrating. Have a scapegoat. He completed the mission. Mm. That he yes, did. but when we also publish everything he told us, I believe Bavlorna is going to be quite unhappy. It's all right. He's already in the big book of black, bad blood. It says down here. Oh, he what did he do? He bath once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that is where. We'll it's all right. See He's going to give us all that information that was really super helpful and very informative. And then we'll just imprison him. And then he'll have to go into exile. It's totally fine. Yeah, all that information that should have been publicly available but wasn't. <laughs> I wonder if he looks good in an orange jumpsuit mm. or an Argentinian embassy. <laughs> <laughs> Floating? I like really like kind of like a bit real, it got a bit real at different times. <laughs> Floating out across the water, the three hags circled the unicorn rocking horse, and it floated out of the water and into the air. One of the hag's arms reached out and grabbed at the horn and removed it from its wooden head. And then all were gone. Hello and welcome to the Dice Section for episode 18, Enter the Feywilds, where we are possibly going to dissect what just happened. Uh, does anyone have any burning questions or comments on that? i just yeah. got one comment to make, um, yeah. that any uh, likeness, uh, real ah. or imagined, to any real <laughs> or fictional characters um, is wrong and you can't sue us, so there are yeah. no taxi backsies. <laughs> yeah, nice. And that is that important. might be happening backsies. in the real world at this current time. <laughs> Or I'm in a sure past were, time. Or every or 10, 15 times. years. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure this won't age poorly in the 12 weeks between now and release. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Um, oh, oh ooh. boy. Jiminy Cricket. So uh. um, planning, uh, doing a heist episode, hard. 
hard from a DM's <laughs> perspective. It's that very is hard. hard when we sit was around. Was that a just... heist episode? No. Well, I feel like that was it, more it was of a planning bit of a heist. Um, so I'm not even quite sure what we're doing still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Publishing a series of articles, I believe. Yeah. I believe so. <laughs> I believe there's a smear campaign. While I feel the same like time. there's a lot of propaganda going on at the moment, <laughs> and um, we got a bunch of information out of Afgrunk, probably by forcible means. Mm. Um, it didn't seem, but it's more it about her tortured. house and less about like her character. So I mean, like we could publish the stuff about her lily pad, but I mean, mm. what we really need is bikini pics. Like mm. it's fine. <laughs> we'll just publish are we a it under opinion. Tabloid? Are we a trash yeah, tabloid or I'm are we a worthy journalistic this... endeavor? No. In which case, oh, we could ask point. for comments from her. We could maybe set up an interview and get into the house. Yeah, oh. yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. That's a good point. It's, that is the it's, it's less the mirror of... and more the Atlantic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah and it might yeah, be a good yeah. way to make sure that that episode from tonight is. Not a total waste. Of time. Well, I mean, the the thing is, is as well as like we did get the information from Afgrunk in terms of like she may not necessarily be the one of the hags who has uh, taken the the children hostage. She hates her sisters. Like, I don't know, there's starting to be, like, as much as I was, like, fully on board to just, like, go in there and just, let's just do a combat and just fucking kill them, I really started to change my mind. <laughs> you did. There was a few parallels that happened where I was like, oh, are we the bad guys? <laughs> like, where I just went, like, I don't know anymore man and i'm scared <laughs> i fully expect that of jack i feel like you're really good at creating ambiguity and mm. that dnd is often the sort of heroes and villains side of stuff and the mm. way that Feywild is this kind of like topsy-turvy upsy downsy kind mm. of place i think really is, yeah, is but... very helpful that there is a lot of uh, grey areas, if you pardon the f- fog pun. Like, <laughs> I agree, but I do I also want to say... I almost made a fog of war pun and I was like, uh-huh. oh, I'll that. I, um, I, I, I agree, Lauren, but I do also want to say hag's going to hag. I agree. I absolutely am like, no, she's, she's fucked oh. and we're going after her. Hags, right, I mean, oh, I don't like my sisters. I think like, so, bullshit. Greg. Because they are stealing unicorn horns, right? Is are all hags the same to you, Ben? All the unicorn intros. Yep. Hashtag not all hags. It's true. Yeah, I'm getting hags. nogs, Jack. I'm figuring it again. <laughs> no. I've been writing it down. There's something about you taking tag. unicorn <laughs> horns and doing something with. Are you listening to me? I'm talking about the unicorn. No, we're not. <laughs> Who gives a fuck about unicorns, man? You eat <laughs> unicorn horns? Man, that just gives you some kind of fucking like aphrodisiac. I don't know, man. It makes you into a potent DM. Mm, Something's I don't know. happening. You're absolutely Something's right. Something's like, happening. Right. I'm watching you. She's doing evil things and she's going to be setting up plans and she wants us on board. She definitely wants Dolene on board because she's the one that's got power at the moment. But like. So I think we need to make an be, agent. A double Hag's agent. going to do hag things, you know, as Benny said. But like at the same time. Is this the hag we're looking for? Mm. Maybe the hag you is know, in a different as castle. Obi Wan Kenobi. Not the hag said. you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can just get her on side anyway, and then she can tell us about the hags we are looking for. She right? could be a powerful mm. ally against the other hags, the hags that she disagrees with. Mm. It could be you a tell-all I mean? memoir that we publish. Oh, my mm. God. And so if we enlist the help of this less bad hag, this, let's for argument's sake, uh-huh, call her yeah. a benevolent dictator, right? <laughs> yeah. If yeah, we sure. employ the services of this benevolent dictator, which is useful to us at this current time. And we put her into a position of power. Mm. Yes. And visibility. Uh, yeah. And visibility. And then secretly send her anti-air <laughs> missiles. And- <laughs> this is what you wanted, right, Jack? Oh, you were just uh, 
Yep. Uh, fucking were- railroad us all the time, Jack. Right yeah. after oh, exactly Always what bringing in your left no. wing rhetoric, your aren't you, Jack? Agenda. Uh, uh, <laughs> your dice woke paper hag woke. Agenda. Yeah. How how <laughs> are you finding woke. this though, Jack? <laughs> Sorry. I said, how are you finding this? I, it's, uh, I, that was a very enjoyable episode I, I for me personally because um, I went in kind of not knowing where that was going to go yeah. and I came out of it not knowing where that was going to go. <laughs> where it went. <laughs> or no where way. it went. And um, I love that about us sometimes. Like I, I think it's it's great to just sit in the role play mm-hmm. sometimes and that's what I felt like the the show needed for for this for this episode but having that episode i am excited to see how you wrap it up by episode 20 yeah me too me too me too me too too cool 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 and if you want to find out too folks make sure you tune in to the final two episodes we're all laughing because we know it's not gonna be two he might do it in one yeah Snappy 500 arc? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everyone. We will be back next week or fortnight or whenever we're releasing with another episode of Into the Feywild. Bye. Bye. Next time Bye. we'll be back. Next time you get it. <laughs> Hello. Do you find these advertisements annoying and degrading? A hurtful reminder of your continued existence, perhaps? Yeah, I understand. You should try reading them. But if you join our Patreon, you'd never have to listen to them ever again. How does that strike you? Because frankly, that sounds delightful. You'll never again have to hear me make this noise. (laughs) Not even once. Join the DPR Patreon for $2 a month and get access to our Discord, exclusive content and a feed of our episodes with none of this shit in them. (laughs) That's beautiful. I still want that noise as a ringtone. <laughs> as a message tone. <laughs> I forgot to do the Patreon ad in the middle, so I thought I'd do it then.